Good morning, everybody. How are you all? This is uh, Dr. Nandi. Today we are going to talk about mean standard deviation of grouped data. So I'll share my computer screen with you. Says the following is a frequency distribution for the rise in tides at a few selected locations in the United States. So we have two columns of data, rise in tide in inches and frequency. It's a second column, corresponding frequency. So we have been asked to find mean, median class, variance, and standard deviation. So the first thing we have to do is to calculate the midpoint of each class. So in order to do that, uh, let's uh, create some space for us and we will move a little up. Okay, so I'll reproduce the table here. So we we'll write solution. So rise in tides. These are basically the classes or groups of data. And then we will calculate the midpoint, means the middle point or center of each class, and the frequency. Right and tight. Midpoints. Okay. So the first class is from 12.5 to 27.5. Twelve point five to twenty seven point five. So the midpoint of this class will be twelve point five plus twenty seven point five divided by two. So twelve point five plus twenty seven point five we'll all do in our calculators. Add them up twelve point five plus twenty seven point five is equal to 40, divide that by 2, answer is 20, is the midpoint of the first class. And the corresponding frequency is 6. For the second class, it's from 27.5 to 42.5. So the midpoint of that class is 27.5 plus 42.5 divided by 2. So 27.5 plus 42.5 data is 70 divided that by 2. Answer is 35. So 27.5 plus 42.5 is 70 divided by 2 is 35. What is the difference between these two? 35 minus 20 is 15. What is the difference between 12.5 and 27.5 is 15 also. 27.5 minus 12.5 is 15. So class width is 15. The midpoints are separated by 15 also. So this class frequency is 3. Next class is from 42.5. To 57.5, and we will add 15. So, plus 15, the midpoint of this class is 35 plus 15, which is 50, and the frequency is 5 for this class. Next class is from 57.5 to 72.5. And it midpoint will be 50 plus 15 is 65. And the corresponding frequency is 8. Next class is from 72.5 to 87.5. And 65 plus 15 is 80. So 80 and the frequency of that class is 6. Okay. Next class, the last class, is from 87.5 to 
1 or 2.5. And the midpoint of that class is 80 plus 15, which is 95. Corresponding frequency is 2. So, <clears throat> I may erase this. Make sure it looks like a 6. This is six. Okay. How do what is the next step? So let me create some space for myself. This can a little bit up. Remove this. Okay. So <clears throat> now the next step is to calculate the mean. So in order to calculate the mean of group data, so we have to use our calculator. So we will enter the midpoints, midpoints in L1 of the calculator list one. L1 means list one. And corresponding frequency in L2, corresponding frequency in L2. So again, the midpoints go in L1 and the corresponding frequency in L2. So how do I do that in TI-84 calculator? So first we press the second button, and then plus button on top of enter, then type four gives us clear all list this information on the calculator screen. We hit enter and it says done. This step means clear the memories. Memories of the calculator, okay? So let's do that second, then plus button on top of enter, then number four, we get clear all list on the calculator, hit enter, it says done. That means the memories have been cleared. Okay, now we have to enter the midpoints in L1 and frequency in L2. So what do we do that? We press the start button, press the start button, which is in the second row from the top in the calculator. Then we press, uh, after that we press number one, which is edit, okay? So after we edit, okay? Enter midpoints, midpoints in L1 and corresponding frequency, corresponding frequency in L2. Okay, so midpoints, the first midpoint in L1 is 20, next one is 35, next one is 50, Next one is 65, next one is 80, next one is 95, okay? And then the corresponding frequency. So after you are done with all the uh, entering all the data points in L1, move your cursor by the right cursor key to the top line in L2, where you will enter six, then three, then five, then eight, then six, then two, okay? So <laughs> we have entered the data in L1 and L2. So what is the next step? The next step is, the next step is press the start button. Okay, and then highlight calc on the top row, calc. Okay, and then press 
number one. Okay. So let me create some space for myself. Remove this. Okay. Okay. So I have uh, on my calculator screen after number one, I have one where where stands for variable steps. Okay. In my calculator screen. And this is highlighted. One where steps. Okay, the first line list is already on L1. Second line is frequency list. And that should be L2. How do I make it L2? I press the second button. And then 2. And that gives me L2 in the second line. Okay. And then I jump to calculate. Jump to calculate means bring the cursor. That means the black rectangle by down cursor key to calculate. Okay. And hit enter. Okay. So the first answer is mean. A mean is x bar is equal to 55.5 okay and then it says standard deviation remember this is sample of 30 selected places in the united states where they measured the rise in type or so, yeah rise in type only 30 selected press so this is sample so why sample? Because we have selected only 30 uh, points of observation, not the entire. So when we talk about standard deviation, we are interested in standard deviation. We are only interested in SX, okay? Sample standard deviation, which is sample standard deviation. And the reason is we have only selected 30 of the places, sample standard deviation, okay? So B, or this is, I believe, C, where we have to calculate the sample, st the standard deviation, which is Sx, which in our calculator is 23.79, okay? So part B, I um, believe, oh, let me make sure I'm writing the parts correctly. So let me open up a little bit. C was variance, D was standard deviation. So, if I so this was actually part D and part C was variance which is SX square. So in our calculator we will type 23.79 then press the X square key. Where is the X square key? It's in the first column on the left. When we press x square, we get an exponent 2 and we hit enter after that. So variance is equal to variance is equal to so we type in our calculator 23.79 then press the x square button which is in the first column halfway down and hit enter and it becomes variance is 565.96. Now in part B, they have asked us to find the median class. 
the class which has the highest number of frequency is the median class. Okay, so the median class is median class is the class with the highest frequency with highest frequency highest frequency highest frequency and that class for us is 57.5 to 72.5 how do i know so because Okay, because that class is a frequency of 8. Okay, this is the class with the highest frequency. So the median class is between 57.5 and 72.5. Okay, you can also verify it by stat calc 1. List is L1, frequency list is L2 and you calculate. If you scroll down a little bit, you see median okay median or q2 median is scroll down with the down arrow key to get the median as 65 which falls in the class between 57.5 and 72.5 so i'll stop here today if you have any question, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Please let your friends know about this video if you like this video. And you and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll see you next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time.